Hey guys, Harsh here, back in the video. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can use an LCD display. So this is a simple 16 by 2 LCD display and what basically mean by 16 by 2 is that uh, it can display 16 characters in a single line and it can print total of two lines, which will consist of 16 characters each. Pretty simple project, you can easily do it and uh, there are not many applications with uh, ESP32 and the uh, LCD display but uh, still it is pretty nice to see how it functions. Basically it is the same as the Arduino code. So you don't need to change anything like that. All you have to do is just uh, change the pins which I will tell you in the video. So let me just power it on, see how it performs. So once it power on, you can see we can print the text here and then we can print any number at the bottom there as you can see. So it can be anything of your liking. Right now I have set it to 500 milliseconds. So every 500 milliseconds or half a second, it updates the counter over which can go, I mean, can go as far as I want. I mean, till the, till it ran out of space or whatever. So without wasting time, let's get started. So. For this project obviously we will need our ESP32 board and as you can see I have done some modification to it by soldering an external antenna to it but uh, this really doesn't affect your project if you don't have this antenna then don't worry it will just work fine as it is and then obviously we will need our LCD display and as you can see I have an I2C board right at the top over here so if you don't have this then the connections between the two devices will be a very difficult job to do so that's why I recommend I highly recommend you get an I2C board just like this one. So you can just type in I2C board for LCD display and right away you will get this board. So this just makes the connection a lot easier between the ESP32 and the LCD display by just four pins. And out of those four pins, two are for power. And obviously to connect them all, we will need some jumper wires. So now let's connect them. So first up in the I2C board, you can see we have VCC, ground, SDA and SCL. So obviously ground and VCC our power supply so we will connect the ground to the ground on the ESP32 board which is right over here the second pin as you can see. Then we will connect the VCC which will be plus 5 volts or it could be 3.3 volts but uh, sometimes that is not enough to power up the LCD display so we will connect the VCC to the V in pin on the ESP32 board which is right next to the ground as you can see. Now we will connect the third pin which is SDA as you can see it is quite nicely labeled. So the SDA pin will be connected to the GPIO pin number 21 on the ESP32 board which is on the other side. So this is the one as you can see it is fifth from the right side so we will connect it there. And then the final pin which is the SCL that will be connected to the GPIO pin number. 22 which is right after the TX and RX pin so the second last pin as you can see over here just like so. So that's all for the connection between the ESP32 board and the LCD now all you have to do is just uh, upload our code and get it working. So let's head over to our computer and program it. Okay, so before we do anything further, first we need to make sure that our Arduino IDE is capable of uh, programming the ESP32 board. So first of all, what you have to do is just uh, copy this link. I have given it in the description. Then what you have to do is just go to files, then click on preferences. So here you will find the additional board manager URL and you have to paste your link here, just like so I have done over here. But uh, let's say if you have uh, additional link, then you can just uh, place a comma and then paste the link so as you can see I have put a comma right over here so this is my ESP8266 package that I have installed previously and then I put a comma then pasted the link for the ESP32 package so after that you can just go ahead and click on ok then head over to tools and go to the boards and select the board managers so this little window will open up and it will update the boards manager so on the search bar on the top you have to type in ESP 32 so this will show up and all you have to do is just click on the install button as you can see i have already installed it so that's why i'm not getting the install option but uh, it will just show up right here so once that's installed you can go ahead and close it and restart your arduino ide so at first we need to upload this code and what this code basically does is it gives us the i2c address of the lcd and uh, this is very crucial code because without the address we won't be able to send data to the LCD display but uh, if you don't want to do that then I will just write here two codes which is 0 small x 
टू सेवन एंड जीरो एक्स थ्री एंड कैपिटल एफ सो योर एड्रेस कुड बी वन ऑफ दीज टू एड्रेसेस सो जस्ट ट्रायल एन एर इट एंड गेट योर पर्टिकुलर एड्रेस बट इफ दे डोंट बोथ वर्क देन यू माइट बी हैविंग सम डिफरेंट एड्रेस सो जस्ट मेक श्योर दैट यू रन दिस कोड फर्स्ट एंड गेट योर आई टू सी एड्रेस फॉर माइन आई थिंक इट इज जीरो एक्स थ्री एफ सो एनी वेज आई विल जस्ट अपलोड दिस कोड एंड चेक फॉर माई सेल्फ सो जस्ट सिलेक्ट योर राइट बोर्ड एंड कॉम्पोर्ट इट इज ऑल एड सिलेक्टेड ई एस पी थर्टी टू एंड द कॉम्पोर्ट फाइव सो ऑल एड टू डू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन अपलोड एंड इट विल ऑब्वियसली कंपाइल द स्केच एंड अपलोड द कोड टू द बोर्ड एंड आफ्टर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम इट सेज फाइनली डन अपलोडिंग एंड बेसिकली द आर डी नो आई डी इज नॉट डिजाइन फॉर ई एस पी थर्टी टू बोर्ड दैट्स वाई इट टेक्स अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम टू अपलोड and compile the code now you can go ahead and just uh, press this button over here which will open up the serial monitor and then here you can see we have found our address which is 0x3f and uh, you need to remember that for your next code so you can go ahead and click on close so here is the code that we will upload and as you can see i have installed this library which is the liquid crystal i2c library and you can find this library in my github link below so all you have to do is just go to sketch and then click on include library and then click on add zip library and just navigate to where you have downloaded your zip library then here we define a instance of it so we name it lcd and we put in our address which is 0x3f from earlier and the resolution of the display which is 16 by 2 so in total we have 16 columns and two rows then in the setup function we initialize the lcd and the backlit function of it so the backlit actually lights up and then we set it to clear so if any previous thing was written on the lcd it uh, should be wiped out with this function then in the loop function we will set our cursor to 00 and basically what happens is in coding you don't start with 1 you always start with 0 so if we have 16 columns then we'll start from 0 and then we will go to 1 2 3 4 and all the way to 15 Why 15? Because we are including the 0. So first we will set our cursor to 00, which is the top left corner, and then we'll print any text we like. So I am printing my channel name over here, and then we will set the cursor to another location, which is 0 comma 1. So it will be in the zeroth column, which should be the first column, and in the first row. So earlier it it was on the zeroth row, now in the first row. So basically that means is earlier it was on the first row, and now it is on the second row. which is the bottom most row and then we will print a variable which is labeled as counter so initially the counter was set here at 0 as you can see with this function over here so initially it will print 0 then its value will be incremented by 1 as you can see over here and then we will add a delay of half a second or here it is written as millisecond so it is 500 millisecond and basically it's just to show you how you can print uh, different types of uh, variables so for an esp board this should not be necessary for your program you just uh, remember that uh, how to print some string value or how to print uh, an integer variable on to the screen so once you have modified your code then you can just simply go to tools select your board and com port which is pre selected as well now and then just go ahead and click on upload and once it finally uploaded then we can head over to our board so once the code is uploaded we can remove it from the laptop and uh, do check if the lcd is getting the text printed or not so let me just power it on real quickly and then you can see the text is now printed but uh, sometimes what may happen is that you may be, may not be getting some text printed and uh, you have done everything correct and double checked everything so there is a little blue thing over here as you can see this is called a potentiometer so this basically controls the brightness of the lcd display so all you have to do is just take a screw driver just like this one and then just uh, adjust the brightness and as you can see the text becomes faded away so i am turning it in the zero position so all you have to do is just turn it in the right way which is i think in this particular place clockwise direction so if you turn it far enough then surely you will get the text and if you overdo it then you can see it just completely goes all white but uh, still you will be able to read the text at a certain angle as you can see so there you guys now you can control your lcd display with your esp32 board so this was a really fun project you can 
use it as a web server and put random text on the display whenever you like from the web page or whatever so thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you like it i have given all the code and the circuit diagram in the description below so if you have any doubts then you can recheck the codes and the circuit diagram from the description and if you have still any doubts then you can comment down below i will try to answer them as soon as possible so until then i will see you all later